Imagine standing on a beach and holding a grain of sand in your fingers. It's nothing special. Millions of them stick to your feet every summer. But now imagine that this particular grain of sand suddenly breaks off and flies at the speed of light. The speed of light is almost 300,000 kilometers per second. To get a sense of scale, such an object would circle the Earth seven and a half times in one second. A grain of sand doesn't seem to be much use. It just flies and flies. But in physics, size isn't always the most important thing. Energy is more important. A moving body has kinetic energy. The greater the speed, the more energy it carries. As you approach the speed of light, things get crazy. Even a milligram of mass turns into a real bomb. By comparison, a small grain of sand under these conditions is equivalent to several tons of TNT. So what happens when a grain of sand like that hits the atmosphere? First, a bright flash. The tremendous velocity heats the air around it to thousands of degrees. It creates a shock wave like a supersonic airplane, only a thousand times more powerful and compact. The atmosphere won't realize it's been punctured. It'll just explode around the trajectory. Next, the grain of sand crashes into the surface. Unlike a normal meteor, it will not burn up on the way. It is too small and too fast to be stopped. It will hit the ground and make a very large explosion. But will it destroy the Earth? Our planet is huge compared to this grain of sand. The energy of the impact is colossal on a local scale, but against the mass of the Earth, it is like a needle prick for an elephant. Yes, the consequences will be noticeable. A localized explosion, destruction, perhaps an earthquake in the area of the exit. But the planet will continue to rotate as if nothing had happened. You can imagine a picture somewhere in the desert or ocean, a blinding flash suddenly erupts, a mushroom cloud explodes. People call each other in panic. What was that? Scientists are wondering if it's a new type of weapon, but the answer is simple. It's just a grain of sand trying to break the speed limit of the universe. In comparison, such an explosion is comparable to the detonation of a large aerial bomb or even a small nuclear warhead. Enough to wipe out a town, but not enough to split the planet. The irony is that such destruction doesn't require rockets or asteroids, just sand. The physics here is ruthless and funny at the same time. On the one hand, the energy is monstrous. On the other, the Earth experiences it as a mild annoyance. Yeah, a couple of tons of TNT exploded. Yeah, a couple of new craters appeared. But on a geological scale, it's not even an event. The denouement is simple. If a grain of sand hits the Earth at the speed of light, mankind will get two spectacles. An explosion and an excuse for conspiracy theories. 